Hello everyone, this is Wednesday. Well, technically it's Tuesday, but you'll see this on Wednesday. And if you're wondering why I have the camera facing this flower drying machine, Resineer sent this to me about a week and a half ago. And the only reason why I've not done a review on it yet is because I do not have the flowers. I kept waiting for the rain to stop so I could go out in my yard and get some stuff. And by the time the week-long rain stopped here I had nothing left on my bushes and I had nothing but greenery and I didn't think that would be a, a fair review so I'm letting you know that Dan and I will be out on Thursday like we always are and we do the Salvation Army run and we do our little errands well I'm going to stop by Publix and I'm going to get a bouquet of flowers so I can do the review on this justice I want to do flowers in here and we'll try a little bit of baby breath and stuff like that too in there but I wanted to wait until I had the flowers and I'm letting you know that this is going to be an upcoming video now they also sent me their epoxy resin I did not even know Resineer made epoxy resin but I got a little I think they're pint sized bottles uh, they came in leaking really bad but I have enough to do a review on um, and so we're gonna be doing we're gonna be using that with the flowers that I dry in that uh, as a, a double review I guess and it will all be in one video you will see that video on Friday I will probably do it Thursday night uh, but it won't come out until Friday and I'm letting you know to make myself remember that this needs to be done and this review needs to be done um, for the Friday video so that's upcoming and we'll go over here and I got an Amazon package I don't know what this is I'm trying to figure out what this is and I don't know what this is I did not order anything uh, so as always we're gonna open that hopefully it's a good thing and not something weird I don't know because I don't know what it is um, <laughs> and we're also going to be doing resin tonight this is a gorgeous live edge mold that I ordered off of Etsy. It came from overseas. It took about a month to get, but it is a very nice mold. Now, there are a couple of defects in it, but, I, you know, I'm beginning to think that it's hard to get a perfect mold. And I think maybe we're being too critical on, on these pieces because these are hand done. Um, and, you know, we don't do perfection so i guess we shouldn't expect perfection from this either <laughs> and and i'm i'm one that sort of does expect perfection i i expect it from myself too i don't expect it from others but i do expect it from myself but i have gotten so much better on that and i do know there is no such thing as perfection in this world so i i, I am getting a lot better um and i'm trying not to be as critical when I do see an imperfection on a mold because ultimately you know it was a human being that handmade this mold so there should be imperfections and you know even in nature there's there's imperfections in nature too and we still think it's beautiful so okay and it is beautiful when it's done I'm hoping that it turns out the way that I want it to I'm going to try to make four very similar and I'm going to sell them as a set and I am going to put this on my Etsy store um, and I know I'm so bad and, and I do apologize I have not gotten I think there's two items up there and I've had several people ask me if I'm ever going to get anything up there and I don't know why my camera is going in and out of the focus um, maybe because I'm holding it and I'm shaking I don't know uh, we are going to be using the eye candy pigment and then we're going to be using that um, pigment. I'm hoping to make it a little bit translucent. We will see. And I don't know if it's going to turn out or not. And we're going to also be using um, the Let's Resin Casting uh, Epoxy Resin. So I'm going to try to put this up on the stand without messing it up. My hand is right in the way, though. Woohoo! Okay. Take it down. 
Ooh, okay. Holler at me, y'all. Just holler as loud as you can holler. If I take it up to one or two to show you something and I don't bring it back down, <laughs> I know I can't hear you, but I, I'd love, I can visualize everybody out there hollering at the same time. <laughs> I know I do it, and I know y'all do it too. I'm going to try really hard to remember not to do that. Okay, let's get this open. I was surprised. I mean, I didn't even check. Um, I didn't even go outside. We went to the, the Walmart today. Oh, I do not like going to Walmart. Walmart is my least favorite place to go to. But it's where they have... I, I use Ratio Keto Coconut Yogurt. It's the only one that I like. And I love it. I do love it. And it's cheaper there at Walmart than any other place. And so we went there. I also buy the uh, super fine blanched almond flour there. It's the cheapest that I can find anywhere also from there. And I was out of almond flour. And as most of you know, we do a low carb lifestyle. I have really got back on track, but the biggest change I've made is drinking water. I mean, water, water, and more water, and I am not a water drinker, and I know this has got nothing to do with crafts. For all of y'all that are not interested, you can fast forward, but this is about me and my life, and that's what all this thing is about, too. So, um, anyway, I'm happy to say that in the past five days, I have lost four pounds. And that tells me that I'm definitely back into ketosis, and I'm really, really happy about that. I am only eating one meal a day. I'm never hungry, y'all. I am not starving myself by no means. Uh, I eat. If I'm, if I'm hungry before Dan gets home, I eat. I eat when I get hungry. And when he gets home, I have dinner for him. And on the days that he's off... He eats when I eat. <laughs> it doesn't matter to him. So when I get hungry... I fix me a meal and and that's what I did today uh, I fixed one meal it was basically keto all the way um, lots of meat I used chicken I used Parmesan cheese mushrooms and we used the artichoke no it's not artichoke hearts it's uh, harder palm noodles uh, I cut them up really small I sort of fry them in olive oil to get to get that weird texture out of there and then I put that in there and made like an alfredo sauce with some heavy cream it was excellent and then of course the the steamed broccoli and then I made my own shuffles and that's what we ate as a dessert we ate, we each had a half a cup of Breyer's low carb chocolate peanut butter ice cream oh my word that stuff is so good and that's what we ate and that's the only thing I'll eat today but I feel stuffed and it's because I'm drinking so much water I I'm not having the um oh, what are they called uh when when you think you're wanting something uh what is the word called y'all my my Mine just went blank. Craving. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not having the cravings. But so that part of my life is going really good, and I'm very, very happy. And so we'll we'll move on now uh, to the craft world. Okay, this is Amazon. Oh, okay, this is from somebody. I can tell because of this right here. I have no idea. Let's see what it is. Oh, they didn't tell me who it is. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you and have fun. From Love Your Work. Oh, I don't know who that is. Okay, whoever you are, thank you so much. Really and truly. This is the first time I ever got an anonymous gift, y'all. And I still don't know what it is. So, we'll find... We'll find out together, but whoever sent this, thank you so much. <gasps> oh, my word. 
word. Oh, my word. This is the first time ever, ever, ever since I have, I have never had chameleon flakes. Ever. Oh, see, I want to change what I'm doing now. Oh, my. I so want to change what I'm doing. Oh, goodness. There's something else in here. Is there? No. Thank you and have fun from Love Your Show. Aw, I don't know who it is, but thank you. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm happy about that. I'm excited about using those. Oh, yeah, now we're going to rethink this, y'all. Okay, I got to I keep these, even though I don't know who it's from. I keep these. Let me set that over there. I will toss that. I don't know what this is. What is this? Three pack of 3D bears. <gasps> oh, are these? Oh, are these the cube bears? Oh, they are the cube bears. Oh, there's three of them in a pack. Oh, my. Oh. Okay. Okay, I, I so want to do this with these. Uh, okay, we're going to open these. Oh, wow. This is so much fun. Yeah, never ever have I chameleon flakes. I've never used them. I don't know how to use them. I don't know what to expect. I've seen other people use them. And they look so cool to me. I don't know. Do they stick good? Do, do they stick? <laughs> I just realized I had my phone open. Oh, wow. It comes with a brush. Do they stick good to... <gasps> Oh my, that's gorgeous. Oh yeah, we're we're doing those. <gasps> Look at the purple. Oh my, oh my, oh my. Okay. Oh, I'm ex Oh, I got green. I have very little green, y'all. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, ooh, what is that? I can't read it either. What does it say? I still can't read the silly thing. What does it say? Will the box tell me what they are? It's the color. F U. Is that fuchsia? F U. Okay, that's fuchsia. Why did I have a hard time reading that? Oh. Oh, that's my favorite right there. What is that? That's green? What is that? What does that say? Lime. Oh, no. That, that, <laughs> that's it. Oh, no, that's it. Uh, well, I'll, I'll do... Oh, goodness. Okay, let's, let's see. Let's just see. Yeah, this, yep, this is the one, y'all. Oh, I hope these go a long, long way. I hope they last forever and a day. Yes, I'm using the brush that came with it. Should I turn these inside out? No. Does it take... Okay, there's not any in there. Ooh, these blow. Okay. Ooh. Static electricity, maybe? Oh, 
Oh no, see, I don't want to waste that. Why are they all going on the outside of the mold? That's weird. Okay. I'm doing that. That's weird. Okay, do you have to press really hard? Is that what you do? Yes, that's what you do. Okay. I would think you'd need a bigger brush. I'm sort of thinking you need a bigger brush. I want to make sure that there is nothing on this one, though. Okay. I don't know, maybe I picked a too big of a mold for this. I don't want to use them all in one time. Oh. Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of rubbing. I wish I had those applicators. I looked at the Dollar Tree to see if they had some. I know they're really cheap and they'd fall apart real easy. But they didn't have many. See, that part is really good. And I can't get that part. Are y'all laughing at me yet? Oh, see, that's what I want right there. I want that color. I don't know if y'all are picking that up or not. But I can't get it to work on the back of the head for some reason. I'm trying, y'all. I am not one to give up. I have been waiting over a year to try these chameleon flakes. Oh no! See? What is what static electricity? But why? And how do I get it? to go in the mold instead of on the outside of the mold. And this has got to be black resin, right? Yeah, see, I'm paying attention. <laughs> seen people do it. They use black resin to bring the pop the color. I feel like I'm a kid in the candy store.
It does take a whole lot though. And I'm not putting much on my brush at one time. But I am rubbing it fiercely. y'all I can't really tell it looks like it's covered from the outside but on the inside it looks real thin it's supposed to look that real it don't look that way on other people's videos okay well y'all we're gonna try this and if this works, I'm going to let y'all know when you put it on there, don't expect it to look like total full coverage. But maybe I should not say that until after I've poured it and I see. See, I don't, I don't want those blotches. How do you get those blotches? I'm rubbing. This is when I wish I had that foam applicator. I need to go back to the brush they sent. Oh, see, there's little blotches all the way through this. Is this normal? It looks like it's covered. But it's not smooth. Okay, well, I'm going to assume it looks covered by comparing it. Okay, I don't want to waste it, and I've already got some all over. See, look at that. To me, that's a waste, and look at that. See, that's a waste, too. But 
It's like static electricity. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to get it off the outside of the mold a little bit. You know how my OCD is. I want it to look fairly clean anyway. <laughs> it makes no sense. I will I will agree. Okay. Oh, I love that color. Should I try it again with another color? <laughs> I don't want to waste it, though. What if I'm doing it wrong? Oh, but look. Oh, look at the color. Okay, we've got to do another one. Oh, that's my favorite color. Oh, I don't know. No, I think that's my favorite color. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I got to do a turtle. I got to do one of those into resin. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, my word. Oh, I hope that's coming up in the camera. Look at, look. It's just, it's just going... Oh man, I tried. I tried to get it down in there. Okay, we're going to do this. This doesn't have static. Oh my gosh, did y'all see that? Look at that. Oh, my word. <laughs> oh, that's wild, y'all. I know. Oh, that is so pretty once you get it brushed out. It's not e easy brushing them out, though. Okay, we're going to do this again. So why is that not picking it up from that? Static electricity. That's weird. I should have brought uh, one of those dryer sheets. I'm trying to get it down in the head, and it won't go down in the head. It's like stopping. Oh, that's wild. 
Yeah, they're flying around in the air. Maybe I'm not using enough, but that doesn't make any sense why it would take that much. That's weird. I don't know. Am I doing this wrong? You definitely don't have to worry about it not sticking to the mold. That is definitely not an issue with these. And I am having to put some force into this to get it. Okay, I don't think I'm putting enough on there. I think that is what I'm doing wrong. Okay, I gotta try to get it down the head and it's stopping before it gets to the head.
Okay, yeah, that's not got any on it at all. Oh, I don't know, y'all. It doesn't seem like everybody else is having this much problem. So I'm evidently doing something quite wrong. more on the outside than I am in the inside. I don't know. We're going to go with that. I don't think it's covered good, but we're going to go with it, and we're going to try it, and look at all that. Just look at it. It's stuck, though. It won't come. I'm not throwing that away. No, it's stuck on the thing. Okay. Oh, poo poo. Poo 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 poo. <sighs> We're doing one more. <clears throat> and y'all can fast forward if you need to. <laughs> you may not want to watch me struggling trying to figure out how to get. But when I look at the outside, this is the only thing that's given me any sort of reassurance that the inside is covered well enough. Because I can see it from the outside. See? See the difference? And that's what gives me some confidence. Not a whole lot, though. Let me tell you. Just a little bit. But it gives me a little... <laughs> it gives me a little bit of confidence enough to keep on going with it. <laughs> okay. We've used that. Oh, we've used that. Oh, that purple. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, but the green is too. We're going to go with this one. No, we're going to go with the purple one. Oh, no, I didn't throw my pops. I don't want to throw my popsicle stick away. Hold on a minute. This is my eye candy pop st popsicle stick, and I've had it forever. Okay. Let me see if I can do it this way. And then... Take the brush. I'm trying to get it. Down in there. Okay, one more time. Okay. Let's see if that won't. Help.
Oh, that helped. Look. That was a whole lot faster than what I was doing before. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, let me open it and get the feet. You do have to rub pretty hard, though, to get it to blend in and not just be chunks. Get it all. Oh, wow, that went a whole lot faster. I don't know if I got it good. I feel like I didn't because it didn't take me as long. Okay. But we're going to go with that. Ooh, I'm excited. Oh, please let those turn out good. Chameleon Flakes Intense Color Shift. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. any of it on there to be quite honest with you okay let me get some of the black oh wait now we'll go we'll go with that one going to use that with the black and I have no idea I'm going to say maybe an ounce and a half each so that would be three four and a half uh, I think it's three ounces so that would be seven and a half so if I made eight ounces so that's six ounces. Okay. 
six, seven, eight. That would be eight total ounces. Okay. And I don't mind if my winch for that gets a little warm. So we're going to set that over there. We're going to concentrate on these right now. I am doing this so they will set in the uh, the Let's Resin curing machine. So let's set that over there. Let me get some gloves on. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm so excited. And I thought I'd bring this over to you. Whoop! I knocked that down. I thought I'd bring this over to you so you can see what I'm doing. This is the, the gallon. Or half gallon. Yeah, it's a half gallon. They come this way with the pumps. But they're so much easier than lifting the jug up, but it is slower. See how many bubbles are coming out of that, though? I'm wondering if this doesn't produce more bubbles. Yeah, see, it's like air is getting into it. Hmm. I normally don't let it go all the way up and I push it down. Oh, uh, maybe that's the way you should do it. Don't let it go all the way up. And I do fill these all the way to the top. Okay. And then I'm going to do one of these. And I'm not letting it go all the way up. It's actually faster that way, isn't it? And I should not have thrown that popsicle stick away. I could have used the same one. When somebody says something about me throwing away broken pieces, if it's mixed and mold, I don't throw it away. I do put it over there. It's on top. I have the top to my uh, trash can flipped upside down, and it's over the... So everything goes on top of the, the lid. It doesn't go inside the trash can. And so I go through and I get the stuff I want to keep, and then I flip the lid over at the end of the night. Uh, to put the trash in there. So yeah, you see me chunking a lot of things over there, but that doesn't mean they're going they're going in the trash can. <clears throat> okay, and this is B. Let's see if it's faster if I don't let it go all the way up. I 
and yes, it most definitely is faster. Before I pour that in there, <clears throat> I'm going to warm this up a little bit. Not a whole lot, but a little. Help mix it easier. In. I thought I was going to have a real short video this time. I don't think I meant to have a short video, y'all. <laughs> I just can't help it. Uh, uh, but I didn't know that package was coming. This was a surprise. A very pleasant surprise. I have to say. I was excited about it if I decided that I had to do a video with it. Okay, and sometimes if I warm up part A, I don't have to do it again once I put part B in there. I sort of just feel it. But it still feels a little thick, and it shouldn't. So I'm going to warm up the whole thing for just a second. And I don't leave it in one spot. I am turning, I don't know if you can see this, but I am actually turning my glass around continuously while the heat gun is on. I always keep my spatula that I'm blending the resin with touching the bottom of the cup. If you go back to the very first 101 on how to keep air bubbles out of resin, it will tell you to always keep whatever you're mixing the resin with on the bottom of whatever vessel you're mixing it in. And so I always do that, but then I also scrape the sides. But when I'm scraping the sides, the bottom of my spatula is still always on the bottom of the cup. Let 
and there's still quite a few bubbles in there but it's really i'm not worried about micro bubbles in this if it was clear uh, or semi-transparent i would be but it's not so i'm not worried I'm going to just set aside. That's not enough. I knew that's not enough, but we'll start with this. That won't fit in there. Put something on it. I'll use this. It's not going to matter. You're not going to really see it. Hopefully. <laughs> but I want it pretty opaque. Boy, this doesn't even look like enough for two. I may have totally misjudged this. And yes, you can fill your mold up with water. To measure about what you're going to need. The water is a lot thinner, so you won't need quite as much if you measure your mud with water, but it will be close. I've used rice before, and it's because I don't like having to dry my molds out. Uh, Okay, that's one. Two. I'm most definitely going to have to mix up some more, though. Oh, no. Oh, I put purple in this thing. Oh, my word. <laughs> I put the wrong <laughs> Well, okay. We're going to put that in here. Oh, that's pretty, though. Oh, my word, that's a pretty blue. Oh, and this is not going to be enough, either. Oh, come on, be enough, be enough. Nope, there is no way that is not going to be enough. Even scraping it out, it is not going to be enough. Boop. I don't want to mix up too much. Mm. 
And I still didn't get enough. Almost there. Maybe if I scrape. Scrape it out. Nope, the tail's not even covered. do this. Okay. I got too much in there now. Not enough and then too much. That is wild. Okay, good enough. Okay. I need to mix up some more resin really quick. But I think I only need... I'm going to go ahead and do a cup of each. I'm telling you, B comes out a lot quicker than A does. And I gotta separate this resin in three different colors, so. is a and I'll put the heat on it further away it's still going now I get the bee out which does not take nearly as long because it is thinner and it comes out easier.
Yep. I'm getting it all over the place. Okay, here we go. Let me stir this up now. I do not want to forget to stir it up. You can fast forward through this if you would like. But I have resin all over my gloves, so I don't want to touch the little button to pause it to stop the phone from recording. Six ounces. Okay, I think I got resin all over my glasses just then. Okay, I want some of. Nope, 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 nope. I'm getting ahead of myself here. I still am. I'm still getting ahead of myself. I think I'm all out of this color. This is eye candy and it's she show? She <laughs> she show <laughs> I don't know what that is. Can you see it? See she shy show. Shy show? And I'm using this, and this may be the wrong color, but oh, I love this color. Okay. And this is Okin Okinawa Blue. Why 
I love all of eye candies, Micahs. I mean, oh, I just, okay. Did you see that? Uh, yeah, I'm not wasting that. It's going right back in the bag. There you go. I got most of it. I spilt it. Okay. That's not enough. I was afraid of that, but it is so, so pretty. Maybe it is. Maybe it's enough. Yeah, I'm making sure that this mica is mixed up good. Yep, and I put a lot of mica in this one. I did it on purpose, y'all. Something in there. I got it out. Okay. Now I'm using a little bit of this. Just a little bit. Okay, and there's probably some ocean white. That's this one. Come on. Just a drop. I'm bringing it up here so I can see if I got it wide enough. I think so. Okay. Okay, here we go. This is where the fun starts. It's not working the way that I thought it would work.
Oh, that's sinking. Oh, that's sinking bad. Oh, this is not going to be good. Yeah, I thought I had trial bloom, but it's not going to work. Look at that, though. What is happening there? Ooh, okay. What's going on there, y'all? Ooh, it's all moving. Oh, it's all moving. This is exciting. I love watching resin move like this. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna bring it up. I don't think I can move it so you can see it. Oh, I'm afraid to move it. Uh, what is the thing? Say, so what is it doing there? This is definitely not going to be a bloom. But, ooh. Now I'm sort of... And now I'm sort of excited about seeing what it does, though. I want to know. I've never done this before, y'all. I have never done this in resin before. So I don't have a clue. I see people do them all the time. <laughs> Not me, though. <laughs> Can you understand why now? looks so cool though doesn't look like a bloom okay I can I can tell you it's not gonna bloom on me but maybe it'll still be lo cool looking I don't know what do y'all think oh I have resin left so let's 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 do something with it uh you know what I'm going to pull out, right? You should know. You should know by now. 
I'm in love with these molds. If you if you hadn't figured that out yet, I will tell you. I am most definitely in love with these. And since I have some left over, I don't know if I have enough to do all this, but I sort of want to do a little bit of the clear. With a little bit of this and a little bit of that, like the ocean water, you know? And then maybe a little bit of white. And then let's finish it off with clear. Okay. And then let's pour a little bit of clear in that one and a little bit of clear in this one. I don't think we're going to have enough to do. the crystals. Okay, and do we have a little bit of white left? Okay. Yeah, I don't have enough to, uh, let's try a bird, though. Let's open up a brand new bird and do a bird. I think I have enough to do one more before it gets way too thick. And I'm going to mix it all together. Well, no, I'll do it this way. I'll pour the white in first. And I'll pour whatever blue we have left. And then I'll pour some of this. Oh, 
put the wrong end in. Okay, and I'm going to poke the nose, and in doing so, I'm also bringing the color down. I don't know if you can see this, but see how I'm poking the color down into it also. All you can see is my glove, right? Okay, that's got to go out of the way. That's going to come right over here. That's got to come closer in. Do I have enough to do another bird? Let's see. These are clean. That's the reason why I'm opening the new ones. I think the other ones have got mixed mold in them. Because I use them all the time with mixed mold. So... Let's do this. I don't want to waste any resin. Okay, that one's gone. Yeah, now we're scraping out cups that's okay we're using all of it that we've got mixed up which is a good thing it's been a while since I've done this much resin I enjoy resin too and I know a lot of you probably think that I don't I love resin uh And I think there are certain molds that are resin molds. You know, you can't do anything else with them. They were made to be for resin. But then there's some molds, I think, were made for casting powders. Whether it be mixed mold or aqua cast or any of those, depending on where you live and what is red ready uh, ready available is that the word actually that's not one word that's two words <laughs> readily readily available that's it ooh we okay Yes, I am trying to get this semi-clean before I put that looks cool that is not gonna be a bloom but it looks cool <laughs> It looks cool on the back anyway. I have no idea what it's going to look like in the front. It might be one big old blob, white blob. Okay. I think, ooh, that turtle looks cool, too. That might be one big white blob on the top, too, though. I don't like it when the white goes, just sinks. and. But that may be what's happening. I see white, but I'm not going to mess with it. It is what it is. It will be what it will be, and I did not do the nose of that bird.
Okay, here we go. We're taking the gloves off. Woo wee. Ah, my hands say freedom. Oh, I hope this works. And I have to be real careful, y'all. Let me. Y'all are screaming at me, aren't you? You're screaming at me saying, Put it back down, Beth. Put it back down. <laughs> Okay, you see, you have this thing right here. That's the thing you have to be careful with. So I was hoping that I got those. Oh, can I see in there? Oh, I wish I could see in there. Okay. And I have to take that off, which I can't because that's my palm cord, which I need. No, I need it down there though. Okay. Yeah, I have to put my phone cord in to make sure my phone does not die <laughs> while I'm waiting for this to cure. It's amazing. <laughs> okay, and I think the light's fixing to go off. Which light is this? What is this one? What'd that go to? Okay. That's that one. I'd rather have that one on. Nope. I can't have that down here. Okay. So, hold on a minute, y'all. I'm redoing everything. <laughs> okay. I'm going to turn this on, and then I will be back when they are ready to come out. Alrighty, we are back, and I hope this is ready. I don't know which one to start with. Okay, let's start with these. Wow. Oh, I hope this comes off. I hope I don't tear the head off. Oh, I tore the head off. Oh, no. How did I know that? I think I read somewhere where somebody... <laughs> Oh, okay. It's too late at night for me to be tearing this off a of mold. Okay, I'm trying. Oh, I got it out. But not without it first coming off. And that was the one, that was my favorite one. <laughs> uh, oh, look. 
look. I could glue it back on, I guess. I could glue it back on. But I love the color. And I am. I'm going to glue it back on. I'm going to use some E6000. Maybe. I can't get the lid off. Hmm. <laughs> it's not coming off. Oh, goodness. Okay, do I have anything else up here? Well, let's try some of the super glue. I don't know if that's going to work or not, but we'll try it. Take it over here in the light so I can see exactly where it should go. And that is it right there. So And I'm taking the excess and trying to smooth it. Wipe it off. Okay, and I'll set it over here and I hope that it will stay on. Okay. Here we go. We're going to try not to tear the head off of this one. <laughs> I knew it because somebody had said something in the group about Tearing the head off. <laughs> and the way that this is made. Yeah, I'm putting I put some alcohol down in there. Okay, that one came out better because of the alcohol. Oh, and the color. Oh, I love the color. Look at the color, y'all. Oh, I absolutely love the colors. Oh, 
<laughs> yes, indeedy. <laughs> I know I'm late to the game, but these are wonderful. Oh my, oh, this color is also going to be, okay, let's, let's get this head. Okay, let me somehow The head, oh no, come on. And I put alcohol in it. Oh, this is crazy. I'm gluing it back. It's basically in the same exact spot. That's wild how it does that. Okay, I'm going to hold that for a minute. Yeah, there's no way. This is my first chameleon flakes. I will keep these. I could fix that. I could put UV resin around there. But look at the color. I love the color of these. Those are just too cool. Okay. Let's hope that's the only breakage. It's the head, y'all. But other than that, they're so cool. Yeah, 
I'm trying to get this off. Okay. So let's let's do this one. Let's take this one off. The back looks really pretty. Ooh, okay. I like that too. Oh, I like that one. Oh, I like this one. Lots of different things going on with this. Oh, yeah, I like that one. Okay. Then we're going to do the turtle. Oh, I don't like the turtle as much. Uh, no, I don't like the turtle. It's the, the turtle's pretty, but I was hoping for something like that. And more, it's because the white sunk. It's pretty, but it's not what I was hoping for. I don't think you could pour an ugly one of these. Okay. And we'll take out the birds. Can't believe two of the heads. But I was able to glue them on. So they're not lost. Oh, I like these birds a lot. Ooh, yes, I do. Oh, those turned out so pretty. Yeah, they did. Very, very pretty. Okay. So, let's see what this one looks like. Oh, and again, very, very nice. Oh, I love the color. I love the effect. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, those are very, very pretty. Okay. So let's see what happens here. I just hope it's not ugly. <laughs> uh, I think it's pretty on the back. If it looked like that on the front, I'd be happy. Okay, here we go. What do y'all think? You think it's going to be ugly? <laughs> Ah, uh, okay. Oh, I don't know if I want to or not. Okay. Oh, no, it's not what I wanted. Not at all. <laughs> Look at the design. It looks like an alien pointing at it. <laughs> no, it looks like a go uh, blob from Ghostbusters. <laughs> There's no, look at how pretty the front is, I think the back is. Okay, look how pretty that is. That color, that color took over. And those are not air bubbles, by the way. That's, that, that is not, that is not air bubbles. That's, is that air bubbles?
I don't think that's air bubbles. Wow, that's weird if it is. Now, if the whole thing had done that, that would have been cool. And where'd all the white go? It stayed. It didn't go down at all. The white did not go down at all. And the blue, you don't see any. And the purple, you don't see any of that. All, even on the edges, all you see is that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Can we cover it up with... No, I don't like that. I'm going to have to do something with that. I don't like that top at all. I don't mind that part. I don't like any of this. Yeah, I'm looking. I am looking. Oh, that was just pink. That was not diamond. <laughs> Let's move this stuff around. Let's see if we can make it look a little bit more interesting. It's funny how that center part looks, uh, Pink.
Okay. Oh no. Okay, is there not any white glitter? Oh yeah, white. Let's see what the white looks like. Moving this over here, and we're going to try to. I'm not happy with that. Oh well. We'll see if we can make something of it. I'm happy with birds. I love these things. I don't care if two of them's got super glued heads either. We're going to try this again. I wish it come out that way. But it didn't. It's still pretty. I just wished it would come out that way. I wish the hoe sand dollar looked like this too. But I like the way that it did that. So... I'm okay with that, and I love the birds. I like these. I do like those. I need to get tape and clean those. We're just waiting for the...
the the light. What is it called? The UV lamp. And I think it's about one o'clock in the morning. Maybe one thirty now. I was up until 4.30 this morning trying to get the video that y'all saw this morning up. 4.30 this morning. I was falling asleep at my keyboard. It took two hours for it to upload to YouTube. You see, it once... Once I get down here, I have to upload it to YouTube, and then once it's uploaded to YouTube, I have to go through and watch part of it, and then I get pictures off of the actual footage, and then I go to Canva, and I make my thumbnail that y'all see on the, the front. I keep changing my thumbnail around a little bit. I'm still not happy with it. Oh, and these poor molds. I don't know how. I don't really want to put alcohol on these. But I don't think this tape is going to work either. But I got these done, so I'm going to go ahead and put those up while we're waiting. And we'll go back in the bag right here. keep them covered in a bag and then I put them in this new uh, drawer container that I got and that's where I'm keeping them almost out of alcohol on this thing, I think. Okay, I really like these bears. I do. I gotta figure out how to do this without losing the head. I mean, two lost heads and one good one's not a good uh What's the word? Good average. No, that's not a good average. And something told me it was going to do that. Where the molds made. <laughs> I've tore heads off of things before. People think that resin is indestructible, and it is so breakable, also. You can drop a piece of resin on the ground and break it just as easy as you can. Dropping a piece of casting powder or pottery. Depending on how it hits, it can just shatter. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm putting it on the baby wipe so it's not full strength alcohol. Okay. So I'm getting it. There is a piece down in there. It's in the ear. Whoop. Okay. That one's good to go. Let me just spray the outside. Of the mold and then go in I love the color of those I think I got it all, except for there's two spots in the ear. Okay, I got that one. These edges are not easy to get that stuff off. Wow. Yeah, I normally don't. Clean my mold with alcohol. But the edge right here.
I almost got it. There's a couple little places. Okay. Yeah, I still can't get it off of there. Wow, that's incredible. It is not coming off of there. There it goes. Okay. We got a piece in here. But these are pretty much good to go too. So cool. Okay, now let's look at oh, the piece that didn't. Well, I still don't like it, <laughs> and a lot of this has got to come off. Not a lot of it, but some of it because it's quite sharp. This live edge is not as shiny as it used to be either. Which sort of surprises me just a little bit. The deburring tool is not my favorite either. Now, if I wasn't on camera, I probably would have my, my X-Acto knife out doing this. But it freaks some of y'all out when I do that. <laughs> so. And I still don't like it. I don't know why I don't like it. I do not know why I don't like it. There's something about it, though, that is just not...
Okay, I'm, I'm beginning to like it better. Okay, I like it better, but I don't like that. Nope, I don't like that. I sort of like that though. That's the only one that didn't lose his head. <laughs> all sorts of stuff over here. Ooh. Okay, wait a minute. Let's play. But that's not the, the pretty one. Where's that one at? That's the pretty one. Oh, I think that's what I'm going to do, y'all. As much as I like this, um, the other tray, and I did, I like it here, too. And I like it intermixed with those. See, I really like that. Let me see if I can. It's not attached, okay? I'm bringing it. Okay. 
I sort of really like that. And I could add more if I wanted to. But I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put all these in there. I think I'm going to use UV resin. And, and just fill that whole top up with crystals. I may. Let's see if this will work. Just so y'all know. Let's see if two of them will fit on here. Because I do have two of them. Not the right color. But let's just see. Oh, yes, it would. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to pour another just clear one. And I'm going to put two of these like that on here. And then... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Because there's enough room. <clears throat> what could go there? Oh, that would be pretty. These are too big. I think I'm going to make enough just to surround it. And I don't know what I'd put there. I don't know if I've got anything that would fit there. But I think that would. I'm still looking, y'all. I wonder if I could somehow attach those. I oh, wouldn't that be cute. But then I have this too. No. Oh, I like the idea of that. Pouring two more. Hmm. I think I'm going to, yeah. I think I'm going to pour two of these and then another crystal one like that i don't care about the air bubbles and make a couple individual ones to go there put these attach those with uv resin i think that would be adorable but i don't know and dome it on this side too. So no matter what side you saw it. And make sure it's it's uh, solid. That would work. That would most definitely work. So ma no matter what side you had it on. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going, I'm going to fix that. So where I can still use it. Because I like this. And I like that. I just don't like the top. And I love the bottom. <laughs> I wish the top looked like the bottom. I will probably pour 
two more crystals because I really like the crystal on that bird tray. Alrighty, I think we are done for the evening. It is now Wednesday morning. <clears throat> and you will see this up probably fairly early uh, this morning. I will probably schedule it to come on about 6 o'clock in the morning. And I'm going to fix that with the UV resin. Uh, but I think they'll hold. And I love the colors of these. And yes, I absolutely love the Chameleon Flakes. And once again, I want to thank whoever sent those to me. That was such a nice gift. And, and very thoughtful. And it is very much appreciated. Very, very much so. And I will use these quite a bit. Alrighty, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you uh, saw something that you enjoyed. Uh, maybe it will motivate you to uh, do some of your own projects. Um, or maybe you learn what not to do. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but thank you so much for joining me. I do appreciate each and every one of you. And I will see you again tomorrow. Have a good night. Well, you're probably sound asleep in bed, so have a good day, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.